بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله أر شيخ شيخ عبد المسن على بعد حفظ الله تعالى was asked about the qaida which is very prevalent in being propagated amongst many of the youth which is the one who does not declare the innovator to be an innovator is an innovator the imam with his fiqh his understanding and his wisdom explained for us this qaida because many of the people understand it in a way in which it is not to be understood and many people understand this principle and make practice of this principle to make tabdir to call others innovators because they have not declared who they declare to be innovator or whom they seem to dislike or who they find to not be in accordance with their group their ideology their way Wallahumistan. The question was, O oh, our Sheikh, you mentioned yesterday that one of that the one who does not declare the innovator to be an innovator is not to be put together with him, meaning that innovator, and that it is not binding upon him to agree with he whom declares him to be an innovator. Before we get into that, look at that. Imam Abdul Masin said this, but people attack Ali Hassan, Sheikh Ali Hassan Al Halabi, and I'm not defending nor am I making tibdi or anything of him, but I'm using this as an example because many people have taken this as a new principle to say la tilzamni or, or whatever, to say that you, you know, basically that it's necessary. So many of the youth, the ignorant youth who haven't studied with ulama, who don't even maybe know even Arabic. Some of them know some little Arabic. They study with a few mashayikh and a few mashayikh that aren't even on the level of this great imam and others. And they take this principle, they, they, they make it so that you have to make tibdi of who they make tibdi of. Instead of it based on being uh, an issue that's that an issue of ijtihad, an issue that's based on ilm. Because again, we're always ordered to follow the haq. We're not ordered to follow Sheikh so-and-so or Sheikh so-and-so. We're ordered to follow Sheikh so-and-so and Sheikh so-and-so if what they said has muwafaqa with the haq. So I hope that's understood. So the Sheikh went against that qaida, the qaida that the people are putting forth. And unfortunately, and I, I almost want to name some names of certain, especially one Sheikh who's a Sheikh, but I don't, may Allah guide us in him. I won't say it. Okay, so uh, then the question went, however, some people of knowledge mentioned that the one who does not declare the innovator to be an innovator is to be put together with him. So is there therefore the difference? <clears throat> in this issue, only semantic, a verbal uh, difference, you know, just a difference in the ibarat, a difference in how this statement has been put. The Shaykh then goes on to clarify with thick and ilm, with deen. Qal, the innovator, innovating, yes, there are people, people of innovation whose affair is clear. So, for example, if we see someone who is defending Hamza Yusuf, or even Yasser Qadi, really, and many others who have clearly deviated from the Salafi minhaj, who have no, nothing in common. Well, uh, Hamza Yusuf, Sufi Khalis. And Dr. Qadi, I don't know what, he's kind of moving towards liberalism and uh, kind of an other hodgepodge of ideologies that he's mixed in with some aspects of a soul type. Those, that's clear. But let's, let's get back to what the Imam said. He said, the innovator, innovating, yes, there are people, people of innovation whose affair is clear. They are far away from the sunnah, and they are not from the people of the sunnah. And they wage war against the sunnah. 
the Sunnah is on one side and of the valley and they are on the other. There is no doubt that the one who does not declare them to be innovators is an innovator himself. Right, because their innovation is open, it's clear. You know, it's, and it's not perhaps even in one issue, it's in usul, it's in many foundations that they criticize the, the Salafi minhaj that in, 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 and, and differ with issues in usul. Right. Then he says, but as for people from whom mistakes occur, from amongst the people of the Sunnah, because everyone makes mistakes. All the children of Adam make sins or mistakes, and the best of them are those who repent. And this is what Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa said. From amongst the people of the Sunnah, and something by way of mistake of misunderstanding under, uh, occurs, then it is not to be said that they are like the others. The innovations whose affair is clear. It is not to be said that they are like them. And it is not to be said that the one who does not declare them to be innovators, that this one becomes an innovator himself. Yes. So that's imperative for us to understand, to understand that habit of filah. And this is what the Sheikh's whole treatise was about, was about gentleness between Ahl Sunnah, not being quick because of mistakes to declare other uh, Salafis, other people from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah to be innovators. That's imperative that we understand that. And that's what our Sheikh, Sheikh Ibrahim al did in his treatise entitled Nasiha. And that's what uh, Sheikh, uh, the Sheikh who did uh, many, many treaties that have been translated into English now for our benefit. Uh, be gentle with Salafia. You know, all of these types of treaties were, and our Sheikh uh, Imam Saleh Suhaimi, also his book, and so many Mashaikh now have come out and written and exposed deviant practices that had cropped up among some of the Salafis and mistakes that had been become widespread amongst some even some mashayikh, wallahu musta'an. And so it's very important that we go back to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we go back to how do the major scholars deal with these masa'in so that way we don't rush and quickly make hukum, you know, a, a ruling on someone and a ruling on that which disagrees with us or just because something we heard new which we may not have the knowledge about and it may be based on the book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so we don't fall into error in declaring that others have erred and, and declaring them to be deviants and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad